Hey, y'all, and welcome to There I Said It. I'm George Alfredes. I'm Vic Jagger. And I'm Gary with the time. <laughs> Gary, is your favorite color yellow, though? Is that the ultimate? Well, yeah, yellow is one of my favorite colors, and I love red, honey. Yellow and red are two of my favorite really? colors. Really? You know, uh, my bathtub at my house is red, and um, I got yellow chairs here, and the nice yellow um, paints and the yellow throw. I love yellow. Yellow, yellow is my favorite, too. Like yellow, yellow is my favorite. Vic, I can guess really? yours. Let me see if I can guess yours. What? It's blonde. Blonde. Oh. No, blonde. <laughs> no, I bet it's purple. Uh no, mm -mm. Oh. it's oh, not. She don't like eggplants and I love I love yes. different shades of pink. I love. I was gonna say mauve. pink. Um, mauve is purple. Yeah, she, You're she, a jerk. Mauve is purple. Not, mauve is not look, a... look. Oh yes. 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 yes, yes. Private suite collection. Keep my candle nearby. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Rose good rose. energy. Big, we should make candles. <sighs> Did you know? Okay, don't act like that. Don't give me the same Actually, thing, I do okay? make candles. <laughs> no, I'm saying this was Vic candle. does a class. Let me tell you, Gary, you had I had so much fun. So Vic does does this couple's thing sometimes. Mm. Um, mm. where you take a class with her and she like did Zoom and she was, mm -hmm. she sends you all the stuff you need to make the candle. Like you have the glass, you have the yes. wax, you have the um the herb, what is it? And her husband it did so it. Hard. And I will just let y'all know that somebody, somebody got a little tipsy. Cause she tell you make she also does a drink with finished. it. You make a drink. <laughs> you have to have the stuff for the drink and you oh, make the do. drink as well. It was yeah. so we should do that, y'all. And yeah. one of the I'm like, serious, so fun. Can you take the candle wax and pour it on your original area and make a copy of it? Uh, a mold? You want a mold yeah. of Vic's butt? No, oh, of yeah. his. That's what it sounds like. Sound like you or wanted your or your oh, my own. your yeah, front, your pose. No, my butak. And this wax oh. and just pull it off and have a wax mold. Mm -hmm. No, I mean that would take a lot to do. But I mean, uh, if that's I something work. I could buy but, you the no, kit for that. They have it for the hands, but I'm sure you could put your ass in it. They have a kit for it. Yeah, for yeah, your but hands. It's for your hands. Yeah. And so, like, you, like, say if you wanted to do something with Blake, you would grab his hand and then y'all would put it in the mold. I want to And do then that. pull it out and then it would be, like, a sculpture. So, I'm sure you could put your ass oh. in it. I bet there's other yeah. things you can mold, too. You can, you can mold, yeah. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Probably can. All right, so, yeah. <laughs> there's a lot to talk about today. I don't know why we got on <laughs> molds. I and know. Yes. 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 So, do y'all, have y'all heard Beyonce's new song? Do y'all like it? Yes, this is like the kickoff, y'all, for summer. Like, I like it. People are crapping on it. Drake, Drake did like a yeah. house music esque album, mm -hmm. and now Beyonce yeah. released "Break My Soul," and I, I mean, that's I love it. Music. I don't like house music. I do not. I've never liked house music, mm. and I'm not a huge Beyonce fan. But I actually mm. love. We it. forgive I love you. It, love it. I'm sorry. Really? I love, yeah. Well, I think she need to give CNC Music Factory a check then, honey, because the listen. show started off. Was that CNC? Honey. Everybody, everybody, everybody. Oh, you know what I That's thought it was? Yeah. Exactly. You know what I thought Watch. it was, Gary? I Watch. thought it was Robin S. You've got to show me no. love. Uh-uh, baby. It's Miss, I Miss thought it was. Factory, baby. Oh, no. man. Really? Well, he, she, yeah, of course baby. she would have that cleared. Of course she would. Yeah, well, she Beyonce that. just Clip wouldn't why, be, why can't you? Be creative, honey, and create your own stuff, honey. You're Beyonce. Because that's, but that's not what dance music is. Dance music is, you know, where you put other people's stuff together and make it fast. And I don't mm -hmm. know. She um, got Miss Big Frida in there and all those girls, honey. I love it. Oh, yeah. It just gets you moving. She said, We back outside. Yes. We are outside, y'all. You're not going to break our soul. Okay. That's mm -hmm. what she said. Actually, Beyonce know, is saying, Quit your damn quit job. job. Stop working she so said, hard. Quit your job, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm like, well, girl, can you hire me, boo? Yes. Okay, so, I'm. I'm just letting y'all know y'all need to have a plan before y'all try before to follow you take Beyonce. Her advice. <laughs> Everybody's not Beyonce. <laughs> Everybody ain't got a Jay Z either. So we got to just <laughs> thank you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But y'all, so when Drake released his like mm -hmm. well a week or two ago, people were crapping on it. Of course, it's like the most most Why bought are they one on, on Drake. I I. Thought that it, some of the stuff was funny, except in DC, it kind of went viral on a lot of the blogs in the club. They had the sign, you know, when they get the bottles out, when the bottles come out and they have signs, it was yes. like Drake album sucks. And while people were that's like, me. oh my gosh, yeah, like why would they say that? I was looking at it like, oh, that's free publicity. 
because people are going to go yeah. and now they're going to listen to see. Oh, it's the most downloaded one actually, ever. Yeah. Sorry, on Apple. Though. Yeah. But do y'all like it? And shit, Drake might have paid mm -hmm. to do it himself. Hell, he might have done it. You never know. He might have. Gary, you do, you like the song? do you like the Drake here. song? I promise you I haven't even heard it yet. I promise you I haven't I heard, heard it Beyonce's, either. I Beyonce's, but I haven't. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I know you heard Beyonce's. Beyonce said queens in the front, dimes in the back. I was like, well, wait, yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. So she yeah, already know. Like very much the uh, punk club who's, who's okay. listening. Okay. Well, the queens are bopping <laughs> off of that. Can we not yeah. say that? Can we not say right now. the P word? Can you not say the P word? I mean, we one? can say that word, but not in the context that Gary said it. I feel like, you know, they people would have a problem with that. Because, you know, really? Gary can say huh. all types of shit and... We can, can we say P U N K? I don't know. can say punks, it. Punks, you punks, just said punks. it, bitch. I can punks. say. I mean, I you say can it. say that word, but in the context, because Gary said the punks can be in the club dance. I wouldn't say that. Okay, well, tell me. I wouldn't call I'm politically that, incorrect. I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't say it. I said. I said. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. Well, honey, okay. the punks and the queens, bitch, gonna be bopping, honey, off the song. Yes. Okay. That's All our right. He said what he Ooh. said. <laughs> mm. <laughs> so do y'all uh, switching gears? Y'all saw her on Monique. Apologize, apologize, but not really. She's like, I'm sorry if I hurt someone. She really just apologized for bringing Dale's family trauma into the beef. But she really, that's not an apology when you say, I apologize if I hurt somebody, hurt hurt someone. And then she doubled down on it and said, really, I said what I said about DL, though. What's I really said, I meant what I motherfucking well, said about DL. I said, yeah, she now, Monique, she just going to keep that little pettiness. She, just, she has that little pettiness about yeah. her. And she, after DL said what he said, uh, I wouldn't think that she would take back anything because they really went at it. So it, she should have apologized yeah. to his family. Of course. That was you know the who they need? They need Yanla. Both of them need Yanla to fix it because and I don't know anybody else. That. Say, heal yourself, brother. Heal yourself, beloved. Heal. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> they need her, though. Yeah, they so it. need her. Oh, my her, gosh. Or um, yeah. who was the other... Um, uh, what's her name from Couples Therapy? Do y'all watch that? Mm -hmm. Couples Therapy with... Yeah. Um, Styles P and his wife are on there. It's like different couples, Ronnie DeVoe and his wife, and the chick from oh, I hate to say it. is this House Claudia Party. Jordan's on? House Part, yes. Claudia Claudia's Jordan and her, her guy yeah. KJ are yes. on there. What is the name of that? Um, what is her name? AJ? Oh, AJ, AJ from BT? No, from House Party. From House Party. From the movie House Party. From yes. Baby Boy. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't think of her name right now. But her yeah, name is she, AJ. Oh, okay, is yeah. He, her name is AJ. She uh, gets lives together. Couples, too. Really? Oh. So. <laughs> so she is the she's the person that's like the therapist. Yes. Shut the front door. And they have all these different exercises. And I said, a lot of people can apply oh. this in their own lives. Like what? Like what? Like there was a, a wall building exercise, right? And you know, Legos, we've all played mm -hmm. with Legos. And so it had like communication, um, uh, just different things, issues that would be in your life. And you had to build this wall and some of those walls were stacked up. And so now they have to go on and figure out how to break down that wall. It was so really like good. each the last brick had was like depression or something like that. Like, that's yeah, or like, like big yeah, block? just issues that you, um, finances. I didn't know that Claudia was, um, she had a gambling issue. And she said, well, oh, I wouldn't yeah. have a gambling issue. I wouldn't be worried about going to the casino if I was receiving the love and attention from my man. Then Who I wouldn't love it on Claudia. That girl is gorgeous. I know. And she it seems was so really, weird. I've only met her a couple of times, but she seems quite, Gary, I know you know her. She mm -hmm. seems, you know, she's yeah. got a really great personality. She seems really down yeah, to earth. Oh, cool. very nice, very sweet yes. person. Yes, I always say that about her. Damn, Claudia, how do you gamble like that? I just, I can't see my money go like that, honey. But I, I can't do it. The department store then buy. buy Gucci, That's a gamble. Gucci, 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 so mm -hmm. that's the only kind of gamble I want. Yeah. But mm. it makes so me everybody has. So, but know. everybody got a vice. Everybody got their vice. What's your vice, I Gary? Mean, What's your vice, Gary? What is shop your vice? <laughs> My you know Gary gonna say shopping. But but I mean, you know, but I could afford it. 
So I don't mind. I love shopping, honey. I just and mm-hmm. I'm not a fool. Just because you can afford like it. Restaurants. Just because you can afford it, I tell you what my husband tells me. Just because you can afford it doesn't mean it's not advice. Doesn't mean you need it. I mean, I'm just saying. Let me tell you something. Well, maybe that is. Do then, if I'm here. Well, I, yeah. You know, I know Jerry's some queens like going. dick, honey, and they just buy dick all damn day. You think I'm just buy something that's gonna walk in bitch? Oh, I want to keep it in my closet, look at it, and wear it, honey. So no, ma'am, honey, I'm not doing what Vic does. Well, much, well I'm preaching, how, I'm preaching, how, but how I have much the same is problem. Going these days. I know it ain't no three four thousand dollar bag. <laughs> is it okay, cheaper? So I know it's cheaper. I know it's cheaper than a Chanel <laughs> bag. I can tell you that much. <laughs> okay, I bet you ain't spending ten thousand on it. Well, you can right, afford the like, dick. Uh, <laughs> Like the rapper say, bitch, I got five on it. <laughs> and that's the only it's not her. <laughs> he going to sell. Okay, so that's no, your vice yeah. is shopping. I have to say it's mine as well. Um, yes, Vic, no. what's, your, what's your vice? Man, um, what Men. would it be? Oh, no, sorry. I said, Go no. Ahead. Oh, bitch, oh, no. <laughs> Definitely you. not. What would mine yeah. be? Um, Food? You are a foodie. Really? You're a foodie? I like eat. Oh, bitch, I, I'm yeah. Not a and you know what? I like Why to you not spend fat? money. So I would say fence. I, I am spend money <laughs> on food. Like I go to restaurants all the time. I like to eat out. I like to yeah. And I have gained. But weight. I like all that. So but I'm that's not advice. I don't think that's advice. Spending money <laughs> on like overweight. eating out. That's yeah. not advice. No, y'all don't think so. Don't oh, think. Well, you don't want to tell. You don't want to tell us your real vice. Is that what it is? I don't I really like I I don't gamble like that. I like to gamble, but I don't, you know, mm-hmm. gamble like that. What what are some th- say some type of vice? Like, like what like would be if you were like you say you uh did cocaine or something? Oh, then it might. Oh, I can't. No, I can't. Stop. Like addiction is a, like <laughs> Gary and I are addicted to shopping. Yeah, when yeah. He comes I, here, we I, going I, somewhere. I'll we let going y'all know afterwards. Mm-hmm. Oh, for real. Uh-huh. Let's just, like Garrett let you know our producer said oh, it's immoral, immoral wicked or behavior. wicked, yeah, wicked. Oh, See, shopping no, is not wicked. It's, I don't think it's wicked shopping behavior. Wicked. Yeah, but I yeah. yeah. Is shopping or moral or wicked, wicked behavior. It's an addiction. What we have, Gary, mm-hmm. is an addiction mm-hmm. because we have clothes and stuff in our closet, shoes that have not been worn, clothes with mm-hmm. tags on them. And Gary, you have jewelry that oh is ridiculous. Gosh. Every time I'm with yeah. Gary, he got new bottles. Mm. Now I let's just I, say yeah. my vice might be Snoop Doggy Dog. That's now, y'all just figure oh, it out. No, oh, y'all figure okay. it out. Oh, so okay. that's all we're going to say. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, but that's yeah, we, that uh, might. But that's, really, not, that's, I, I, you know, that's yeah. not a vice because you don't really. It's very legal. It's very. Yeah. I have, yeah. It's, not only yeah. is it legal, and you don't it, stay. You're not like looking. You're fine in now. the haze of it. Yes. Yeah. You, no. you come to work clear, so you know. But we don't really know. Maybe we've never seen her clear. <laughs> Maybe. Exactly. No. <laughs> yes, baby. Yes. And Y'all see I took my braids up. out? Yeah. Yes, oh your God, hair you looks really so good. I would like to yeah. say that it's all me, but it's not. Mm-hmm. It's pros. It's pros. I, I it's love pros. pros. Now, listen, first off, there's no one size fits all solution when it comes to hair care. So mm-hmm. something that works great for curls or even my type curls may not work well for your type curls, Vic, or your type curls, Gary, because we know we all got mm-hmm. different. Like, I'm a type 4A, and yeah. this is some serious coily stuff. So, mm-hmm. but thanks to my personalized pros routine, I can honestly say I have never been so in love with my hair. Like, I love it. it and the thing that makes pros so great, like I said, is it, it's personal. It makes it yeah. personal. I, just, I love the natural ingredients and the proven results. As you can see, my hair look real good. I yes, love that they really lying. do... The, I like they it. okay they really take time to get to learn your hair yeah. so they do like it's a customized in-depth consultation mm-hmm. and you you know talk about where you live what you eat you know the issues that you have with your hair whether it's too oily or it's too dry issues that you um want to you know change and for me I know that I get my hair colored a lot I get my hair bleached I keep my hair blonde and so I want to make sure it's as healthy as possible and can I tell y'all how much I love not only the shampoo which was customized for me yes. like had my name on it okay <laughs> The shampoo really strips all of the product out of my hair and will allow me to use the conditioner and that curl cream 
to See. really moisturize and keep my hair as healthy as possible. So I love, shout out to Pros for analyzing yes. all of my answers and then blending this unique uh, set of ingredients specifically for my hair. Yeah, I love it. I noticed mm-hmm. the difference in my texture. I noticed how you know, thick my hair looks. I just, yeah, I see a total is. difference. I mean, like my, my curl longer. pattern. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if you straightened it, but your you know, hair will probably be down your back, girl. I mean, honey. I, I mean, this, weave off. But yes. bro, y'all, I mean, this is so great, honey. It's the healthy hair regimen, honey, with your name all over. Look at y'all names all over it, honey. So, now, take your no, free, okay. honey, in-depth hair consultation and get 15% off your first order today, y'all. So go to pros.com slash I said it. That's Pros, P R O S E dot com slash I said it, honey, for your free in depth, honey, hair consultation. And 15% off. 15% yes. yes. off, y'all. Get that pros. Get that pros. Seriously, pros you will love pee, it. P in front of Rose, honey. Oh mm-hmm. my God, pros. Pros before <laughs> bros. Yes, Gross. I like it. I like you did. I, I see what, how you did yeah, it. Uh-huh. Okay. So, yeah, we were talking about Beyonce and her new, mm-hmm. you know, dance song that we love. House so music. everybody, yes, house music. So everybody was talking about Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. Y'all, it's been happening for everybody. has been comparing oh, yeah. Chris Brown and Michael Jackson. And Chris Brown Who finally came out. Was it Tank? It was an athlete. It was, I thought it was an athlete. Was it Tank? It was an, I thought it was, it was an NBA so- or... I feel like NFL. Tank doubled down on it, and it was a lot of discussion about Chris Brown like, being better, more talented than Michael yeah. Jackson. Like, finally. And, oh. Yeah, and because they said, you know, he does, he dances, he does um, acting, he, he does writes. all these different things. And I'm like, there's only one Michael Jackson. Let's let's be clear. I agree they with need you. To shut that down there right is now. only one Michael Jackson, but I'm you sorry. You can't compare. There's okay. no comparison. You you no, can't no. compare Michael Jackson and Prince, but Chris Brown and Michael Jackson kind of both dance. They both, I don't know, I'm just saying Chris Brown, if there's anybody that is close to Michael Jackson, it's going to be Chris Brown. Well, what about Have Usher? You seen- what about no. Usher? No, yes. Usher, now, you, you can used compare to be Usher, Usher be and Chris Brown. Chris Brown. I think you can, can do that comparison. But Michael yes. Jackson, He's go back and look baby. at his concerts. Chris Brown would yeah. never be able to sell out never. and have people well, in the frenzy. We understand frenzy. that. And, okay, so you can't really compare all I'm Michael Jackson's impact. And that's I what I think it is. I think need to keep Chris Brown in his lame bitch with Usher, period. He's not compared to Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson is the consummate entertainer. And mm-hmm. Michael Jackson, there will be no other, period. So, and what like did Chris Brown that, say? No. He did he say he did said, say that if there was no there there would no be no Chris Brown without Michael Jackson. Yeah, I love that he's that humble, absolutely. Exactly. But if we're gonna compare Michael Jackson to somebody, it will be Chris Brown. I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. But y'all, let me no, ask you this. Girl. Let me ask you this. Not. If while we're on the subject, who is the ultimate ultimate performer that has been in our lifetime? I'm going to say Beyonce. Diana I'm Ross. Gonna say I'm say Beyonce. Say, damn, Beyonce, bitch, Diana Ross. Beyonce can sing. It is Beyonce. She can dance. And it is Beyonce. The, Her, that girl's range. Are you crazy? Has, oh, oh, Breath so control. Be, oh, are you saying of all time? Or are you talking about what? No, of no, no. Time? Of our, our lifetime. Well, but Diana Ross is still alive. Diana Ross is our lifetime. So you can say okay. Diana Ross. I'm no, saying it's Beyonce. Diana Ross, bitch, honey. If it wasn't for Diana Ross, like Chris said, if it was not for Mike, there would be no help. If it was not for Diana Ross, honey, there would be no Beyonce. Who did Beyonce play, honey? Diana Ross, honey. Can Diana Dream Ross Girls. dance? Can Diana Ross okay. dance? I love Diana she Ross. Like, her, so what she's saying flowers. is the yes. ultimate entertainer on stage, like performing, like I'm talking concerts. about that can do it all. That can do it all. And I'm Diana saying Ross right now. Yeah. No, I'm not. What? I'm saying during our lifetime, Diana Ross is... She Diana can, Ross, girl, I mean, honey. Tina Turner, all of them. Yeah, oh, Diana Tina Ross Turner. Is the ultimate. Yeah. Tina Turner was great. She's good. Pat mm-hmm. LaBelle was great. But Diana Ross is the ultimate. Diana Ross, all she got to do is get on the stage, bitch, and throw her arms up, bitch, and there you go. Mm-hmm. She's Miss mm-hmm. Ross, honey. She well, we can agree to disagree. She was gowns, honey, mm-hmm. and all the glamour. She was latest thing the blues, honey. She was um, all that and then some, honey. She is a better actress than Beyonce. I will say that. Yes, she I is. Well, I wouldn't even compare. Yeah, I can't compare Diana Ross and Jan. Um, I, oh, Janet Jackson. Oh, Janet Jackson. And Miss Jackson, Jackson. And Miss Jackson so, did good too, honey. Yeah. But, actually, if but we want to do Beyonce, when it comes to Jackson. singing, you have Beyonce to say Beyonce is come a on, better come on, singer. Girl. Come on, bro. I love Janet. Beyonce is a damn better singer. Oh. You know what? I want y'all to comment. 
Oh, Y'all can stop well, playing. Wait, I wait, love Janet Jackson here. as much as the next person. Please, please let us know who is the better singer, Janet Jackson or Beyonce. Stop playing. Now, you Beyonce know. I'm not comparing Janet thing. Jackson and Beyonce. Just I mean, we really some, shouldn't some compare because people, cannot. some things you can't, but I'm just going to say. Because I feel like Beyonce is in a lane of her own and she's inspiring okay. the girls that's coming up behind her, right? Janet Jackson is in a lane of her own and she inspired Beyonce, Beyonce. and all these great, yes. you know, so yes. because somebody Diana inspired Rose you, you can't. Is in a lane of her own and Diana Ross inspired, inspired, inspired Janet Jackson. And then, and Beyonce. So, you really oh, so y'all, I'm, I'm wrong for comparing. I'm wrong for comparing them. You're not I'm wrong, wrong for saying well, Beyonce. Your own Beyonce is like the best singer ever. Don't play. Oh, you out of your damn mm. mind. Oh. <laughs> Now, what about now, what about I Jennifer Hudson? Beyonce. And what about Jennifer Ms. Hudson? Miss Hudson not even in there, huh? She, she, she good, but she ain't deal. Mm, I'm sorry. We can. You, you know, know what? I want to know what y'all I'm think. Gonna put that on, I'm gonna put that Fantasia. on the motherfucking card, Gary. You, what? She's good. But she ain't them. That can apply nah. for a lot of shit. Yes. <laughs> or you could do it like this. You go even better. She's good, but she's not me. Mm. No, uh, that's you. She's yeah. good, but she's not. No, but honey, it's Fantasia. That's the damn case. I like Fantasia, but I'm not. I, you can compare, I think, Fantasia and Jennifer Hudson. We'll go but Fantasia Hudson, can't yeah. touch Beyonce. I'm so sorry. Well, Y'all get mad. You know, make your comment in the comments. Y'all are just, I think all these Gary women are you. so amazing. They're amazing. Uh, they're amazing. Don't they're try to put it. Don't try to get me yeah. and Gary people no, mad I, at us. I think they're all amazing. Gary of is course, saying they're the same all thing amazing. that I am. Like, you can't compare yeah. certain people. Like, like it's the girl, a, you compare apples, bitch, to figs. Mm -hmm. That's not a comparison. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow. All right. I'm just Next. whatever. Okay. I'd be mad if y'all want to. You can Beyonce actually is. you can do a top five because some people may okay, not like think that, that Beyonce, like that. you like know, can say five. or Jennifer Hudson can say. Okay. Who's your top like five? To add Mary J. Blige in there, and I you know how y'all try to uh, hate on. Mary. Don't nobody hate on Mary J. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. So who's your top five? Look at Gary. Top five. <laughs> I like Mary J. Black, but I don't scream for her. Do you put her in your top five? No. Who's in your top I five? No, he wasn't. Diana good. Ross is number one. We know. Diana Ross will be in my top five. Janet Jackson, bitch. Patty LaBelle, honey. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mel Beyonce. Moore. Mm. -hmm. And who else, girl? Oh, bitch, honey, Miss Regina Bell. Regina Bell. Oh, yeah. Okay, y'all, who's the one who's in yeah. love and you? Is he? That's in the She's in, the in, the in my room top room five. Too. She's in my top five. Beyonce's number one. Tina Turner. Mm -hmm. um, Patti LaBelle. Mm -hmm. Minnie Ripperton. Did I already say Minnie Ripperton? Uh -huh. And Janet. For sure. That's a good list. That's a good list. Who you got, Vic? It's too hard. You are, what is wrong with you? You we can't compare too hard. top it's too hard. five. You brought it I up. Can, you I said it's top five. Names, but I know Minnie Ripperton, Beyonce. Um, top five. Uh, Mary Sister. J. Blige. Um... Cause I know I'm gonna leave somebody out and I'm gonna be but mad. But you know, it's not oh, leaving. It's, you can only have top five. Yeah, five. So, so it's yeah, not about I know, leaving somebody and, out. So I can't scan my brain. I'm trying to think of who else I would put in there. I love Patty. Lil Kim. Who? Oh, we talking about rappers? Lil Kim. Bitch, we, we talking say about rapper. Okay. Singer. Okay. I ain't no oh, rapper. No, no, Lil Kim ain't no singer. Top five yes, who's female talking. rappers? Cause Missy is probably Missy yeah. is high up there. I put Foxy Brown and I always liked Foxy Brown better than Lil Kim. But everybody always did you say liked it? I did not. I said I always liked Foxy Brown. Uh, no, no, no. Yeah. I, I like Foxy back. Brown better than Little Kim. Who did y'all like better? I, I thought like Foxy it. Brown was sexy. I like yeah. Little Kim because she said, baby, she used to be scared of the dick. Now she embraced it. Now she throw it. lips so, to the shit. Handle yeah, it yes. like a real bitch. Yeah, 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 you learned it by heart. <laughs> when I learned, You're probably I learned, 16. When I learned her say that, bitch, I'm like, ooh. Hey. Okay, then all right, then top. I am a diamond Okay, so so we got Nicki Minaj. What about Nicki Minaj? Why y'all yeah, so Nikki's quiet? Y'all throw Nicki Minaj in there. Nicki did. I I I enjoy Nicki. I like Nicki. Oh, I, I like a song quiet. or two by Nicki. Yeah, I don't there's a only a couple songs. You know, I mean, she no, did her I, thing. I, I, there are quite she did Eve. Eve was killing it. Eve was killing it. Eve, yeah, Eve. For a little well, while. Child there. Niggas, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, thirty-ten, thirty-eleven, thirty-twelve, yeah. Oh, yeah. What about yeah. what about my milkshake bring up? But she's right really a singer. With me. Right, my milkshake yeah. bring all the boys to the yard. Uh, Khalees, right? yeah. it's just she's singer, a singer really. She's more of a singer. She's more of a singer. Okay, yeah. I like Khalees. 
All right, so we kind of got our top five female rappers, mm-hmm. top five, and I feel like people are going to probably Jesus. in the comments section say I'm right about Beyonce. But Y'all didn't say Azealia Banks. What does she sing? I just know she make a lot of records, but I ain't mad she at her. She changed her voice. Know, she stay in the press, mm-hmm. honey, for cursing people out and doing some bullshit, but I know she, oh, she did. I always get her mixed up with the white girl. <laughs> Who used to be on her oh, T.I. with the big booty. Yeah. It's always Iggy, Azalea Azalea. and Iggy. Yes. What she been? I really haven't seen anything. She just got her new booty, honey. Man, she... Mm-hmm. she was dating a basketball player. A new man. Mm. Okay. That's how you do it. All right, y'all. We got to get to this Cassie Diddy, Alex Fine situation. So, of course, Diddy wrote a song called Gotta Move On. Everybody mm-hmm. assumes it's about Cassie, although Diddy didn't have like 15 different girlfriends in like the last two years. So it could have been about okay. anybody, but everybody be- uh, just assumes it's about Cassie. Mm-hmm. So Cassie's husband, whom she's had two kids with, um, Alex Pine has come out and he wrote something on Instagram. He posted something basically saying, hey, to all those people who want to come out, whatever, uh, you know, in the in the life LGBTQ community, you know, or who got to move on something. He, I forget exactly what he said, he but said, he referenced he Diddy. If you want to come Diddy out game. the closet, Thank if you want to come out the closet or you who's struggling to come out the closet. Struggling to and, come out of the closet. And um, you got, you know, you got to move on. Yes. But and, you know, that's yeah. one of the oldest But he deleted it. He deleted it. Honey. Yeah, deleted it, honey. Yeah, before uh, everybody got book, it. Honey, What's the oldest trick? What do you mean? When somebody want to, like when women break up with me, he was gay. So now he's trying to call Diddy gay. Girl, please, honey. I but mean, he he's not was... the first one to yeah, ever. Yeah. Some people have said that no. in the past about Diddy. Y'all it's never heard like that? Industry rumors and blog exactly. talks. And uh, who was that? And, and... Wasn't Corinne? Didn't Corinne Stephens come out and say mm-hmm. something? Yes. about? Um, but that don't mean he's gay. Diddy. If he like booties, that means he's gay. I mean, he just likes something different, honey. If she ain't flipping over, you got to get it from a man. So mm, it don't make you gay. I think that means you're gay. If you... No, I mean, it doesn't. You, you are what you man. profess from Very. your mouth. You are what you profess from your mouth. <laughs> Why does Gary act like a school teacher? You are. I'm going to say it again. You are what you profess. If he um, prefers. So to if somebody do- says, I'm a tomato, call me a tomato. I like, I'm going to marry a tomato. That's, you know, you can say, I might get in trouble for this, but you can say, Whatever you like. You can say you identify. You can say you do whatever. That's right. However, there are certain things. It is what it is. But I respect what you are saying. You are classifying yourself as. I respect that. Look at yeah. the society you got we're to. in now. If this boy mm-hmm. say I'm a girl and you debate that, honey, your ass going to be the one, honey, hung. So if he say a girl, he a girl. Respect it. It will be canceled. I mean, so look, at, what, so. look at Jennifer Lopez. She just Not was on stage son. and people are giving yeah. her trouble because they're all on her. And because she called what? her daughter, Emmy, she was calling her, referring to her Damn. as they and them. And yes. people at first were like, wait, uh, what? And so, you know, some people got onto her about it, but she's, you know, it is what it is. But I, what I wonder is, mm. and here, I'll ask you this, even though you're not trans, so I don't like, you know, but... How old is she? I'm just wondering, is she too I don't know, but young? These, yeah, but, but honey, to they, be said they're not too young. they said they're not too young because now the kids nowadays know what they want. Our asses, honey, knew what we wanted, but they beat the shit out of you. They say, your ass better not be gay. That's you right. Know, and, honey, yeah. and now today, oh, mommy, I'm gay. Oh, you're gay? Good. And you get to say you're gay if you're two years old. So there you have it. So sounds like to me you disagree with that, Gary. Well, it's not so much that Did I disagree you? with it, but I mean, ahead, it's God. just... It's just too much, honey. It's just too much. Because my thing is, honey, later on in life, honey, I mean, because you're saying you are what you are right now. You don't know what you're going to be later in life. That's just like when our old asses realize, oh, shit, I'm 60 and I'm gay. Because I couldn't be gay when I was young because yeah. they wouldn't let me. So that's the way it is. So now when the kids come out and they're three years old or nine months, I'm gay. They want, eh. Girl, he said he's gay. So good. Gotta let him be gay. I don't know. I just think kids are so, like, I have an eight-year-old. Because we were raised differently. We're in a different yeah. day and time now. These kids now know how to express themselves, honey, and say that, honey, I, mommy, I feel like a boy. And, oh, you feel like a boy, little Becky? Okay, then we're going to name you Brock. You're a boy now. And but do y'all think, is. do y'all feel like it's happening more with celebrities' kids or that celebrities' kids are reflecting what's happening in the rest of the world? Then, yeah, it's, a, it's more public. 
Exactly. It's more pl- um Lil um Jenny around the goddamn corner for you. I wish you would say you damn boy. Cause honey, you're in your private home and nobody knows you. But we know all the celebrities and stuff. So they gotta bring their kid out. You like Dwayne Wade them? And they're looking mm-hmm. Dwayne Wade, honey. He's starting to follow um his daughter's suit. He's starting to come out more and do all kind of unique things that a hetero wouldn't have done back in the day. So you think well, he might because be he feels that he is comfortable. He I think he he's you know, rich, he paints and his he toes he and he Yep, and he um, wears clothes. So he had on these Prada certain- pants yesterday that was high waisted. Looks very yeah. feminine, something that I would wear. I'm like, oh, all right, Dwayne Wade. So, baby, you get to do all but that. But don't y'all think? He said, when he was no, go ahead. What did he say? Baby dolls. Remember oh, he said yeah. That he yeah. did that. So, you know. Mm-hmm. But don't y'all think that some things should just be okay, and it doesn't mean you're gender fluid? Like, like why can't boys paint their toenails? You know what I mean? Why can't boys wear pink? Why can't we should be asking you that? Why me? Oh, because I have all boys. No, because you because you think I'm a little more conservative. When, whenever there is something like that, you definitely question. That's a question. Well, so it okay. is because so I want to. Yeah. So what? Yeah. Why? So why is it? I don't. I don't know. Why I'm asking you. Like I don't know. Like, ask the question. Okay, so like you know, Blake is eight. If he said, "Mommy, I want to paint my toes." I would really see nothing wrong with it because I paint my toes. I, you know what I mean? But I feel like society where he lives, you know, the mm-hmm. school he goes to, the trouble he would have. Now he wants to paint his nails because he's gay. And he's never said this to me like I want to paint my nails. but I'm just using him as an example because he's my yeah. son. But um, I wouldn't put my my son or my daughter in a situation where they're going to be ridiculed at school and they're not old enough to stand up for themselves in a situation like that. You know, you have to know your child and, yeah. and your child might be able to handle it. You know, like I kick mm-hmm. your ass or whatever. I wear my nails like this because I want to. I'm a boy and I like boy stuff. And I also like to get my nails painted. Some boys would do that, but some boys would have a problem with it. It might, it might affect them for the rest of their lives. So that's why it, I it would. personally would. And you would ask them too. You know, probably ask them, what inspired you to want to do that? What, why, why do you mm-hmm. want to do that? Right. did you see right. do that? You see little Billy with his toes painted too, mm-hmm. and you want to paint George or something like that, you know. So, but mm-hmm. I don't know. It's just something. It's just. I think if we're that, confused as adults with imagine. a lot of um, issues or a lot of situations that happen within the LGBTQ community, I've always said that I feel the community should give um, others more grace in. OK, it's sometimes it, it doesn't just we don't just say, oh, this is what you are. And let me call you this, you yeah. know, these titles and different things, because I was questioned uh, about if a trans woman, that's a, a one um, used to be a man, right? If it's a trans woman, I don't. Know. Yeah, I think so. OK, so if a trans woman is with another woman. Does that mean that that just sounds like a heterosexual or is that, but that's a woman though. So like Kate, uh, what's her name? Caitlyn Jenner wants to date a woman. What type of relationship is that? You know what I mean? That's a lesbian because she wears dresses and she's a trans. Let me be quiet. I don't want you to be mad. Right. So that's what I'm saying. So in all that to say, I feel the community should give people more grace instead of trying to cancel somebody because they don't really understand. You know, just educate people and and understand it's going to take a little bit of time to these subgenres of what people normally because first it was gay, bisexual and straight. That was it. Those were the categories. And so now we have all these different um, labels and it's hard to keep up. Both of y'all have teenage sons. If y'all son Mm -hmm. came home and said, mommy, I'm gay. And guess who's coming to dinner? Bam. Mm-hmm. What would y'all do? What I'd be would okay. You I'd be okay with that. Same. I would, love I would never, no like, I would never want to put my son, especially all the stories that I've heard mm-hmm. of older um, gay men and, and gay women whose families turn their backs on them. And I would Or they try to want... turn them straight or they sent yeah, them away and all that. to yeah. a place where people That's beat the gay baby. out of them. Nah. Beat yeah. the gay out of it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, you know, it's just, it's it's interesting, though. But, yes, honey, I, I agree with you, Vic, honey. Oh, yeah, it just kind of might need to be a class because you'll never know all the... Mm-hmm. the um The terms the and titles, labels and titles. Like, the they don't even put biracial on licenses. Like, I don't oh, exactly. you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. 
Like I went, I, I went to take my six year old to get a license and they, I was like, well, which family should he choose? Should he choose his black mother or his white dad? You don't have him on this piece of paper. You know what I mean? So I'm like, this yeah. is, it's 2022. You don't have biracial. Um, yep. and they're like, we know it's the computer. I'm like, it's not the computer. It's, it's the goddamn it's computer. It's Texas. Right. I'm like, somebody can ridiculous. go in there and actually ask. Are you the... kidding me? <laughs> and I, I just really wanted to put the guy on the spot. I was like, so who should he choose? Which, which one of us should he cancel out? Me or his dad? Mm-hmm. I'm not sure. Well, whichever one he looked like when he gets stopped by the cops. Exactly. Negro. I should have made <laughs> it put white. But... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but then they pull him on and be like, hey, dude. You ain't white. I'm about to really beat your ass, not because that ain't. Let's true. let's quiz you. So yes, if, <laughs> that was about the yes. Like like you're right. We're gonna do it. That was very yeah, interesting. Uh, okay, anyway, y'all, real quick. Very interesting, though, yeah, so. very, very interesting. I just want to bring up one more thing, y'all, because um, Ti is upset that they suspended production on Family Hustle. Like it was like a year ago, and the, I didn't know it was yeah. a year ago. And it still hasn't been on. He said, he, here's what he wrote. VH1, 13 years, no loyalty, no integrity. Uh, just jump to conclusions, false accusations, no apology, no accountability, no closure in the name of protecting women while unfairly without due process, subsequently punishing women. No problem, he wrote. Mm. So, you know, people had accused he and Tiny of sex trafficking and, and other things. Mm-hmm. And I can't believe that show has been off for a year, which to me sounds permanent. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, well, really I didn't even know they took a break. Yeah, they yeah. took a break when he was having all those charges against him and Tiny. They said, honey, we're taking this shit off, honey. Miss VH1 said, uh-uh. We ain't put the hell Yeah, so I thought that it was, I didn't know that it was a break. I thought that maybe yeah. the series they just ended canceled. and they just, yeah, they just didn't come back mm-hmm. or whatever. I didn't know that there was, that was the issue that um, where it happened. But what do you, I don't know. I mean, yeah. I mean, I get it. He's like, well, listen, we, you know, we haven't been, we haven't been, we were accused, but, you right. know, we're not actually, nobody's been gone. And they've jail. always we, maintained their innocence. Yeah. Um, yeah. But I think VH1 was in a situation where, you know, they don't want to make it seem like they're siding with the accuser. Yeah. And the name of the show is process. Family Hustle. Right. And, you're and so tra- they you probably know. just wanted to kind of play it safe and let's say, Let's see how this plays out. And then over right. time, you know how things yeah. move so fast. They probably, yeah. you know. Yeah. Almost like the Wendy Williams show. You see how they did it? They, before they canceled it, they hmm. put other people sitting there. So. Did y'all see the tribute? I didn't want to win. Yeah, was, was it good? Was it good? To was it sad? My, yeah. To me, you it was not, you know, I don't like think it was like. You thought it was weak? I just don't like the way it went down. And I know. Tell me, tell me, tell No, no, no. I just don't like the way that they just. Ended the show. Pushed her to the side. Yeah. I'm like, you got to set up the camera at her house. Let her say something. They weren't doing that. They were not doing that. If she wants to be part of it. She didn't want to be a part of it. That's what they said. So, you know, so she did not want to be a part of it. But but they, I mean, it was nice watching those old shows, honey. You know, Mm -hmm. we did just brought tears to my eyes because it was, you know, I just love it. And I'm glad I taped it. I'm going to watch it again. But, um, you know, they said mm-hmm. not a baby that they uh, took all these girl wigs, honey, and threw them out. They said because she didn't come get them. They didn't the big throw purple the wigs chair. Out. They say they threw the big purple chair. You know, anybody would have wanted. No, they did chair. not throw Wendy wigs in her yes, chair. Me. They said the chair out and That's the wigs, honey. So some drag queens say they could have put that on Craigslist. Oh, honey, they should. Yeah. They could have kept that in the lobby. They could have kept that in the lobby. Okay. okay, really. Okay, I know we're done. One more thing. I just want to say one more thing, Vic. I know you single. I know you single. Oh, but Lawrence Fishburne out here, you know, he's 60. I know that's kind of as old as Fishburne. For you. He out here single. He said he what ready was his to mingle. Character on Pee Wee Herman. Really? Lawrence? No, he was on Pee Wee Herman. Lo- look at Gary said, really, Lawrence? His wife. Yeah, no, he and Gina Torres. Yes. yes. Oh, yes. Yes. They, got, like they broke up. But he says he was at the Sundance Film Festival. He said he is mm-hmm. ready. You know, to start thinking about dating, that probably be a good little sugar yeah. daddy for you. I'm not saying sugar yeah. daddy hasn't pay your bills. I'm saying it's, you know, That's he's an older type man. Of sugar daddy that would. <laughs> he's an older man. You know what I mean? Just, just you know, mm. I just yeah. No, he's, he there's no. Fancy. You know, there's mm-hmm. nothing. Lawrence Fishburne. No. Yeah, you're, so, you're so finicky, That's, so picky. Huh? You are like, very finicky. And Ooh, Gary, you should yeah. shut I your know, mouth. No, you not talking about you the most nobody you the most picky. finickiest if that's a word person I've oh, ever met. How she's dare a you? Woman, honey. Here's a nice hetero man right there, honey. You could have you could help you out with your bills, honey, and mm-hmm. things, honey. And child, honey, put you in a new car and stuff, honey, and you acting mm-hmm. fun, honey. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's true. Not Lawrence. Not Lawrence, though. What's wrong with Lawrence? See, that's your problem. That's your problem. You're already judging it. Is that my problem? You know what? If I interview Lawrence, I'm going to be like, I got somebody I want you to meet. Now that you've said that, Mm, I bet he's the nicest guy ever. He is probably the nicest guy. I think he's a great actor. Do we know why they got divorced? uh, He probably cheated. Why are you saying this? Most men do. Most men do. I don't know if most men cheat. Some women cheat. Yeah, women cheated, mm. but her, he cheated on her. She got her white man now, I think. Mm. Did like, he really yeah, cheat? Do y'all know that for sure he cheated? No. For real? If he didn't, he should have, because that's what he's going to be accused of. Oh, see, uh, by y'all. Oh, gosh. Mm. By y'all. I'm, not, I'm, not saying, I'm just saying most men. I didn't say him. I was just saying most men. Yeah, up, but most men know. do cheat, honey. I'm sorry. Mm. They do you know? cheat. Some that's type of way, thing. whether it's the texting, whether it's, it's uh, physical, whether it's emotional. Stay. In some type of way, you know. I'm about to get my husband in some big trouble. Yeah, well, you know, because you, you crazy. Yeah, I am crazy. He's Y'all scared. better know that. He's he better know that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet right, I find that. Out, I bet not. We, <laughs> before we get Steve in trouble. Yeah, it's time for us yes. to get up out of here, y'all. Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. Love. So, y'all, and every always, single Wednesday. Yes, make, make sure. sure you subscribe. Make sure you subscribe and comment. comment. Okay. I want to know if, if I'm wrong about Beyonce. I want to know if I'm wrong about who else I said. I said Beyonce. Who's your top who five? Yeah. On my top. Yeah, yeah. we want to know your top five. Everybody, 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 everybody. Hey. Cool. So y'all, every Wednesday, subscribe. Please subscribe and watch yes, or listen yes. to the podcast wherever you are. It's travel. You know, if you're in the car, you're traveling in the on the plane, on the bus, on the train, wherever. Check out our podcast. Every Wednesday we post new episodes. In the brothel, yes. If you're in the oh, brothel, put your little... Oh, who was that? Gladys. Gladys. Flipping night. We Gladys, not, Gladys. We did not add Gladys. Don't Gladys. On no, that midnight S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O. train S-O-S-O-S-O-S-O. to Georgia. Listen. Love overboard. We missed a lot of people. We missed a lot of people. Yeah, no, we just got really Yeah, we did. All right, y'all, honey. All right, y'all. I want y'all to have a great day. Yes. And a better tomorrow. And you all are so beautiful. Yes. As Gary would say, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.